welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome to day today brit's way consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified each and every time i post a video and you don't miss out on any so today we're going to be talking about diffusing our curls and why maybe you may want to diffuse your hair maybe why diffusing just might not be for you and why i personally love diffusing my hair we're also going to talk about a couple of diffusers i have here that i'm going to share with you guys so i first want to start off by telling you guys why i personally love diffusing my hair so i like diffusing my hair because other i already have thick hair guys okay I already have really thick hair, but I love diffusing my hair because I feel like it really gives me great volume that I've noticed a difference in when I diffuse versus when I don't diffuse. So that is one of the reasons. Another reason is because, well, I don't like wet hair. Oh my goodness, I hate just walking around with wet hair. But we'll get to that here later on in the video. I am gonna show you guys my updated diffusing routine because you guys have probably heard me say on this channel so many times, oh my goodness, it takes my hair so long to dry and I'm very impatient. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you my routine. I also love diffusing my hair because it gives me these ringlets, guys. The ringlets I get in my hair when I diffuse my hair. I notice a difference that when I don't diffuse, when I'm having a lazy, t lazy day and I just don't feel like diffusing my hair, I don't see the ringlets that I get. Which brings me to my next point. You may or may not want to diffuse your hair because diffusing is going to cause some shrinkage. But to me, whether you have long hair or short hair, that shrinkage is so beautiful. It really gives your hair such great volume. I have long curls, so I feel like if I don't diffuse my hair, it's kind of just like, it's thick. Yes, there's some volume, but it's kind of just like long waves. I feel like I really get more spiral ringlets when I diffuse my hair and I let that shrinkage happen. So if you already have if you already have short hair and you really don't want shorter hair, I'm not going to say it's going to be like, you know, three, four, five inches shorter, but you're going to get a little bit of shrinkage. Um, you might want to consider air drying and then kind of just fluffing it out with your fingers or a pick or a comb because you're going to get that shrinkage. But um, I love it. I honestly feel like even on short curly hair girls, it looks amazing. Before I jump into sharing some of the diffusers that I have on hand, I do want to say, and I've said it so many times in my videos, embrace your curls. Your curl pattern is not going to be the same as mine. Mine's not going to be the same as yours. So we're going to see different results. When I first started really embracing my curls a couple of years ago because I mean let's be real guys my hair routine is completely different now than it was be like years ago and I've learned that some curly hair girls I'm like dang they curls look like that oh my goodness look at their hair mm -mm. I had to stop doing that embrace your curls your natural hair your curl pattern for what it is and learn to really take care of your curls, embrace them, give them all the love and moisture that they need and you'll truly see a difference. Believe me, I have. My girls and I all have a different curl pattern. I tell them all the time to just embrace the hair that you have in your curls because you're, you're beautiful just the way you are with your curl pattern. So I don't want you guys ever leaving here feeling like, okay, that didn't work for me. It might, it's gonna work for you differently than it works for me. So let's jump into some D some diffusers that I do have. A few of these have come with blow dryers that I no longer have. A few of them I have purchased. So I have a Remington blow dryer. And I'm going to try to not talk too much, guys, because I also want to insert the clip of me showing you guys my new diffusing routine. Just tell you guys a little bit about that and how that's working out for me. So this is my blow dryer. I've had it for maybe a couple of months. If you guys have been following me, my other blow dryer, I dropped it and it went out and I had to find another one. This one was $30 and it actually works fairly well to me. I haven't had any issues. My favorite diffuser fits on it perfectly, but definitely shop around a little bit because the when I was trying to be cheap, I bought a $15 blow dryer that wasn't working. It wasn't working, and mainly because my diffuser wasn't working with it. So, um, let's jump into some diffusers that I have. These are a couple of diffusers that have come with blow dryers I have purchased in the past. In the past, I've used them, they've worked fine, but by the time I tried a couple of diffusers, I found what worked best for me. So, I no longer use these, but they just come with your blow dryer. Diffuser right here, guys. So, before I even started YouTube, I had purchased this diffuser because i was like okay it's gonna give me nice big nice you know chunky curls it's gonna dry my hair faster didn't work out for starters it didn't work out because this is not universal this does not fit on majority of the blow dryers right and i hated that like now i gotta buy another blow dryer because i don't purchase this and it doesn't work with pretty much every blow dryer that i tried it's also very big and bulky and overall i just wasn't feeling it 
So this is the box that it came in, Black Orchid Hair Diffuser. And just a big old square box. I now use it for just random like um, lip glosses and stuff like that. But this is what it came in. I can't even remember. It's been a couple of years. Overall, didn't like this blow this diffuser. So that's all I have on hand. But I have been through several diffusers. And the most affordable one, the most universal one, the one that has been holding me down for the last, what, two, maybe, maybe year and two years or so that I'm just in love with. Um... It says it's from Ion. It is silicone, which I feel like is great because it's very, it's collapsible. It's travel friendly. It is universal, guys. I have used it on every blow dryer. It just slips right on the nose of your blow dryer. And I've even traveled with it, so I don't have to take my actual blow dryer. I pop it on once at the hotel. When I'm back home in Florida and I'm, you know, maybe staying at a friend's house or a family member's house, I always just have my diffuser and I can pop it on any blow dryer that they have. I've tried it on so many and it works. That is like one of my favorite things and it's like a space saver, guys. So this is my favorite diffuser right here. The last one I had was pink and I did somehow rip it after about maybe a year and a half or two right here. Um, and this was kind of coming apart right there. So that was the only issue that I had with this blow dryer. It is about $14 over at Sally's. And honestly, it was worth it to the point that I bought another one. So this is my favorite diffuser that I recommend. Y'all, hey, I got a little phone call I had to handle real quick. But needless to say, I highly recommend this diffuser. Um, it's affordable. And although I know there's so many blow dryers and diffusers on the market, like there's even one, the, what's it called? The Dyson. And I think when you start following a lot of hair products and trying new things, you know, I really truly believe like stuff starts following me in my email and the ads. You feel me, right? But seriously, the Dyson, last I checked, that thing was like $400. That is not in my price range. On this channel, guys, I'm always trying to bring you the most affordable hair products and that is just not one of them. I've heard great things about it. Um, like it definitely gives you a lot of shine. I also heard that it um, dries your hair much faster and that's one thing when it comes to diffusing. My hair takes forever to dry so that would be nice in a blow dryer to like really dry my hair like 10 times faster than it typically takes me. But needless to say guys, that is just not in my budget. There's also I believe the Diva Curl one. It looks like a claw, like a green hand almost. Um, I think last time I checked, that one was around like $160. Not in my budget right now to be buying that type of uh, blow dryer and diffuser. But let us know down below in the comments if you've tried them, how you like them. I'm trying to bring you guys, like I always do, the most affordable products. Um, so yeah, this is definitely <laughs> my recommendation. In this next clip, I'm going to show you guys my current curly hair diffusing routine that I feel like is really helping me out recently just because your girl is just that impatient. All right, hair friends. So my hair is about 85% of the way dry and I can feel that crunchy hard cast over my curls. That lets me know it is time to go in and diffuse my hair. So I'm gonna be using my coconut milk from OSG Serum and I like to apply this over my curls prior to diffusing my hair just to protect my curls from any heat that I will be using during the diffusing process and it also helps to control some frizz. Now I'm using warm air and I'm hitting that cool shot button throughout the diffusing process because you don't wanna use straight hot, using heat on your hair is very damaging, but definitely hit that cool shot button if you have one on your blow dryer. Um, a couple of tips that help me out when diffusing my hair is holding the diffuser in place for just a few seconds and I do find that this helps create those ringlets that I love so much. Um, you'll also see me do a lot of flipping back and forth. I feel like, you know, when I'm diffusing and I do a lot of motion from side to side, it helps create that extra volume throughout my hair. And this is really the process that I've been using recently and it's working for me because I'm really impatient and it really cuts the time down in half. Um, instead of spending an hour blow drying my hair when I have nowhere to go, I'll air dry and then once that cast is created, I'll come back and diffuse and it'll br help break up that cast that the product has created, if it's created a cast, because some products don't create a cast. And then um, I'll find that I'm getting these nice ringlets, nice big volume hair that I love so much. So again, guys, this is my updated video because I know I did a video some months ago with my diffusing process and like some people go in and diffuse right away. I, I do if I have somewhere to go, but recently this seems to be working right, best so for as me. As you guys can see, that's my new diffusing routine. Just letting my hair air dry for about 80 to 85% of the way, then coming back in and diffusing to break up that cast because... I'm so impatient. 
I go back and go through my playlist of hair videos. There are so many times I'll say it's taking this forever. It's taking my hair forever. Oh my God, I'm like 90% of the way dry. That's because I get lazy and I'm tired of sitting here diffusing my hair. So yes, that would be a plus in probably purchasing something like the Dyson. But again, I ain't got to like that to be buying a $400 blow dryer to dry my hair in, I don't know, maybe under, maybe under 15 minutes would be great. Um, Because typically at 40 minutes, I'm just like, I'm burnt out from diffusing. So now I do a little bit of air drying, then I come back in and I diffuse my hair. Remember, you're gonna get a little bit of shrinkage, so if you're someone who like hair, just you just feel like you really don't like the shrinkage, you might wanna reconsider diffusing your hair, but I really feel like even on curly hair girls, it definitely looks amazing when you diffuse those curls and you get that extra big hair even if it's short. Um, embrace those curls, love them, give them all the nice love and attention that they need. Also, like I've mentioned, I believe I mentioned in the clip is, to not touch your hair a whole lot when you're diffusing, I just feel like that really causes more frizz. And I say it all the time in my videos, your girl just has so much frizz. But other than that, guys, this is day two hair. Diffused yesterday and, you know, I just do a little pineapple. Or sometimes I do two pineapples, one on the top, one on the back, and I throw it in my bonnet. And then I do a little refresh. Sometimes I'll put a little extra product in there and go in and I'll diffuse it to dry that just to kind of like freshen my curls up maybe by like three or four if I've slept on them. Or they've been up in like a ponytail and I feel like I'm like starting to like stretch out my curls and I want to wear it down with some great volume. So I really hope this video was helpful for anyone out there. Drop your girl any comments or questions or other tips that um, maybe I forgot to mention in this video down below. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, guys. It is completely free. And I would love to have you guys as a part of my YouTube fam. And other than that, guys, I'll be catch you guys all in my next video. Thanks for watching.